Let us consider the microscopic features of the tongue in this video. The histology sections used in this video are kindly provided by Dr. Michael Horsch of University of Michigan Medical School. You can also visit this site for similar histology videos. Tongue is a muscular organ attached to the floor of the mouth by its root. It has a body and a free tip. It has two surfaces, a convex dorsal surface and a ventral surface. On the dorsal surface, the anterior two-thirds and posterior one-third of the tongue are divided by sulcus terminalis, which is marked by a foramen cecum along the midline. Anterior two-thirds of the tongue is found in the oral cavity. Posterior one-third is found in the oropharynx. Anterior to the sulcus terminalis, we find a row of circumvallate papillae. The two lateral borders are marked by the presence of foliate papillae close to sulcus terminalis. Under low power magnification, tongue shows a covering epithelium. This epithelium shows multiple projections on the dorsal surface called as papillae. Just beneath the epithelium, we have a connective tissue called as lamina propria which also contains few glands and lymphoid tissue. But bulk of this tongue is formed by the skeletal muscle. The covering epithelium is partially keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. On the dorsal surface, this epithelium shows multiple lingual papillae. They are mainly of four types, filiform papillae, fungiform papillae, circumvallate papillae and foliate papillae. Filiform papillae are the smallest and most numerous types of papillae. They are the conical projections on the surface. Fungiform papillae are the mushroom shaped projections visible to the naked eye as bright red spots. Circumvallate papillae are 8 to 12 large dome shaped projections seen on the dorsal surface of the tongue just anterior to sulcus terminalis. Foliate papillae are low ridges found along the lateral border. While filiform papillae do not have taste buds, the remaining three types of the papillae show taste buds on their surface. This is how the filiform papillae appear under microscope. These are the fungiform papillae. This is a circumvallate papillae surrounded by a valley or moat that is why the name circumvallate. The lateral wall of the circumvallate papilla shows the presence of taste buds. Multiple serous sal salivary glands or lingual salivary glands or fornipner's glands they open into the floor of this valley. Beneath the covering epithelium Lamina propria is made up of connective tissue. Close to sulcus terminalis, the lamina propria contains both serous and mucous salivary glands. The serous salivary glands or what, are, what we call as ponipnus glands, they open into the valley around the circumvallate papillae. Few of these glands are found even between the muscle fascicles. Skeletal muscle forms the bulk of the tongue. Both intrinsic and extrinsic type of fibers are found in the tongue. Intrinsic beginning and ending within the tongue, whereas extrinsic begin somewhere and end in the tongue. Skeletal muscle fibers are arranged in various directions. The typically intrin intrinsic muscle fibers are arranged as vertical fiber bundles, transverse fiber bundles as well as anteroposterior fiber bundles. We find taste buds present in the fungiform, foliate and circumvallate papillae of the tongue. They are also found in soft palate, palatoglossal arch, epiglottis and pharyngeal wall. Taste buds appear as pale barrel shaped structures. They extend through the entire thickness of the epithelium. They open to the surface by 
gustatory pore which has microvilli of the cells of taste buds. Taste buds contain three types of cells, a fusiform neuroepithelial cells synapsing with gustatory nerves. The taste sensation from anterior two-thirds of the tongue is carried by the fibers of corda tympani branch of facial nerve. Taste sensation from posterior one-third as well as the circumvallate papillae are carried by the branches of glossopharyngeal nerve and taste sensation from the posterior most part of the tongue are carried via the internal laryngeal branch of the vagus nerves. In addition to the neuroepithelial cells which are the sensing cells, taste sensing cells, we also have fusiform supporting cells in the taste buds and basal stem cells which will replenish the other two kinds of cells. So to quickly recollect what we have seen so far, tongue is covered by stratified squamous epithelium which is partially keratinized. Epithelium shows four types of lingual papillae on the dorsal surface, especially in the anterior two-thirds. The filiform type, fungiform type, circumvallate type and the foliate type. The latter three types have taste buds on their surface. Connective tissue beneath the epithelium consists of serous and mucous glands close to sulcus terminalis. It also shows the presence of lingual tonsils or the collection of lymphoid tissue in the posterior one-third of the tongue. Skeletal muscles of both intrinsic and extrinsic variety forms the bulk of tongue. Taste buds are present on the three types of that is fungiform, circumvallate and foliate papillae also on the posterior one third of the tongue. They are pale staining barrel shaped structures which open to the surface by gustatory pore and they consist of three types of cells the neuroepithelial sensory cells supporting cells and the basal stem cells. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video.